This summer, the world of darkness will come alive as Interplay Entertainment and High Voltage bring White Wolf's popular pen and paper game, Hunter the Reckoning, to the console world. With incredible graphics and outstanding multiplayer action, Hunter the Reckoning will be the hottest Xbox title of the year. And now, for the first time ever, you will enter into this mysterious world, watch never-before-seen footage, and hear directly from the creators of the game. Welcome to Hunter Underground. Hunter is a, a fast-paced action game that takes place in White Wolf's World of Darkness. It's really a, a throwback game. It reminds me a lot of the old Gauntlet series, Smash TV. In our game, you're uh, playing up to one, one to four players on a shared screen cooperatively. So there's no deathmatch or anything. You're all playing together to achieve a common goal. And to me, that's what the best part of the game is. We haven't had any cooperative console games in a long time. And it's just cool to see that uh, old school game come back and it's gonna rock the house. This is the perfect game just for non-stop action. You sit down, you pick it up, you pick it up right away. It's a blast to play. There's stuff coming at you from every side. There's all kinds of weapons to pick up. The explosions are great, the visuals are great. It all works together just perfectly. Uh, Hunter has four characters, two male, two female. The one you've seen the most of is most likely Deuce, seven foot tall biker, carries his axe and uh, his rifle. He's an Avenger. Then we have Father Esteban Cortez. He was the prison chaplain at the town where this takes place. He uh, is very magically inclined, likes to use his edges. We have Cassandra Cheyenne, who's um, the real quick character, almost like the elf in Gauntlet. She's a martial artist, carries two guns, two knives, and just goes head first into the action. And we have Samantha Alexander, ex-cop, very balanced character, great accuracy, real good with her sword, and I'm um, the healer of the group. Hunter has a lot of different monster variations. The basic uh, monster in the game is, are the zombies, and they're just sort of the fodder for the hunters, just something to hack through. So we have uh, creatures who are anywhere from human beings with a slight disfiguration to some huge things known as war ghouls that are just basically a big conglomeration of different human beings formed into a, one big giant fighting machine. There's about 30 separate levels that you have to go through from beginning to end to get whole game. Our levels are, you know, they start in the streets of the city and you get taken into like, you know, in the depths of the prison, you go into the morgue, you go into like these different um, like cell blocks. So you get to see a wide range of levels and you get to see all the cool stuff the artist did. I really like the streets level. There are a ton of zombies all coming at you at the same time and you basically have to just try to fight them all off. It's sort of like one of those old movies, like Night of the Living Dead or something like that. The graphic elements of Hunter the Reckoning, to me, um, are some of the best I've seen on the Xbox. And, and I don't think I'm alone in that. I think a lot of independent eyes have said the same thing. That was obviously the decision we made early on to really go after Xbox and really make this an Xbox game. And um, you're, you see that. I mean, the, the idea that when you zoom in a little bit, you can, you can really, really catch the details on some of these uh, horrific looking creatures. I think most people, hardcore gamers buying the game, would be very happy with it. It's a lot of fun. It's, um, it's something new and totally unique to the Xbox. If you're a gamer who likes fast paced, lots of action, beautiful graphics, deep story, great license. Hunter's the game for you. Guaranteed you'll have a ball.